Jim Stuller knows that today he's a man of privilege. He's jigging for rockfish in a slice of water off Cape Falcon that normal anglers just don't get a chance to fish. He's doing it for free, legally, and all in the name of science. Stuller is one of dozens of anglers helping biologists unlock a few secrets of bottom fish species in Oregon's marine reserves. He's a volunteer in the program's Hook and Line Survey. It's a way for everyday anglers to help biologists glean snapshots of what's really happening in Oregon's nearshore habitats. Oregon has five marine reserves where activities like fishing, crabbing, and development are prohibited. They're set up for protection as well as places for study of everything from sea stars and algae to water conditions and, of course, rockfish. The hook and line surveys use volunteers to catch fish in both the reserves and nearby comparison areas where normal angling is allowed. When you work in Oregon's Marine Reserve Program, the best place to pee is in a reserve. This is the best part of the job. This is the best day at the office, getting out on the boat, uh, interacting with people, talking about the catch. It's actually a really great time to talk with the captain and crew who are out here you know, every day, they are our eyes and ears on the water, and we really rely on anglers who are out here every day to be able to help us understand how the ocean is changing in addition to what the data are telling us.